If you want to change or customize the default header of your theme, I'm going to show you the easiest free way to do so. We will go to our WordPress dashboard. We will then go to plugins, add new, and search for a plugin called Elementor Header Footer. So I'll install the plugin and then activate it. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard, go to the appearance menu, and you'll see the option of header, footer, and blocks. Click on it. Now to create a header, we need to add our first element. So click add new, give this a title. So let's call this default header. Now underneath, we can select the type of template and from here, select header. Now if we go here, we can see a range of additional options. Display on refers to where the header will be shown and there's a bunch of options here in case you want to show different headers or footers on different pages. Then there's the do not display options to add rules for when you don't want to display headers. To keep it simple, we'll select entire website here for now. There's also user rules here, so you can show different menus and headers to someone who's logged in versus logged out. We'll stick to basic so everyone can see this. Now, if you already have a theme installed on your site, enable layout for element or custom canvas so that you get rid of the current header and start with a blank slate. But if you don't have a theme with headers, you can ignore this. Now we've set up everything, let's just save this draft. Now let's create a custom header by clicking open with Elementor. Now, before we go ahead, I must warn you that creating custom headers can slow down your site over time, but no need to worry. We'll just install one free speed plugin and our site will never slow down again. We also built other successful plugins before this, so you can rest assured that this will get the job done. You can go to the description and click on the link. And that should take you to this website. This is 100% free. You'll also see my face here because we've built this, so you can trust that it actually works. Just click sign up here. Now paste your website URL here and click here. Now your site is automatically being optimized and here you should see a big jump in speed. So now we can move ahead with creating custom headers and footers without any worries. Now here we have the normal element or editor and you can see we have a new section called header, footer and blocks. First, let's add a two column section. Let's make this section a little smaller. So set it at 20%. Now let's start adding widgets here. So let's come here. Let's grab this site logo and add it to the left side and grab the navigation menu, then drag it over to the right side. Now you can also add a custom image here. So enable that and then choose a custom image. I'll select this one. And for image size, I'll set it to full because it's the right size for this design as you can see here. We can also set a caption or link, but the best would be to set a link to the home page so anyone can click and go there. We'll set this to default. Now you can also configure these widgets. Click on the right side navigation. There's all these options here. You can choose which menu you want to use like this. Now I can go to the last menu item and select this option and turn it into a button. Now let's customize our menu itself. Go here and click on layout. The layout is set to horizontal but we can do a vertical or expand it or fly out. We leave this at horizontal for now. We can set alignment to left, center, right or justify. So let's put that over to the right hand side so it looks better. Now in sub menu items, we have these options. We can change the sub menu icon from here and choose from these. We can also change the animation to slide up like this now. Go over to the style option here and we have all of these options to customize this. Now once you're done, you can publish your changes here. Now this is a basic version of what it could look like and you can spend more time on this and make the design better according to yourself. Also in this three minute video, I'll show you our new free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this later. So click here and I'll see you there.